Ukraine finally closed off its airspace to all civilian carriers weeks after it set aside funds to keep the airspace open. NATO and Ukrainian officials have said that Russia has declared war and Russian missile strikes were reported in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, and other cities, not just limited to the rebel-held areas in the east. However, Ukraine's airspace closure has been years in the making and not just a consequence of the recent conflict. It began before 2014 and definitely cemented the avoidance of Ukraine's airspace after 2014. 2014 is a year the world remembers as same ghastly events that occurred related to Ukraine. It's the year the world also paid the consequences for. Russia had started annexing Crimea, a southern peninsula, then part of sovereign Ukraine. At the same time, Russia also reportedly backed separatist and pro-Russian rebel groups in eastern Ukraine and helped them push the Ukraine force back. Now, it's the same two regions where Russian troops have been deployed. During this conflict, there was one more massive casualty. 298 innocent people of various nationalities were shot down and fell to their burning death in the eastern Ukraine. This is the downing of Malaysian Airlines Flight 17, or MH17 as the cursed flight was called. Malaysian Airlines Flight 17 was the passenger plane flying from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. It didn't have any stops in Ukraine, but its flight route flew over Ukraine, including the conflict region of eastern Ukraine, over the border of Ukraine and Russia. However, when it reached eastern Ukraine, at the altitude of 33,000 feet, it was shot down by a surface-to-air missile. The passenger aircraft broke into three parts and crashed into the ground at various locations in eastern Ukraine, killing all 298 people on board. An investigation revealed that pro-Russian groups in eastern Ukraine shot down plane. It was also reported that the missile bug 9M83 surface-to-air missile was launched by the Russian military to the rebel groups and was returned soon after. However, Russia to this day denies allegations that it was involved in shooting down the passenger plane. Four people, three former Russian agents were charged with downing the plane. Before the incident in 2014, a few other Ukrainian military aircraft were also shot down. Back then, local authorities had cleared planes to the eastern Ukrainian airspace as long as they stayed above 32,000 feet, and the Malaysian plane was flying well into the stipulated safe flying zone. During the day, the Malaysian plane was shut down. Several other flights were flying nearby or were scheduled to slide through the same zone, including an Air India flight. However, things as we know now did not turn out to be so great. Since then, most airliners have avoided either the entire Ukrainian airspace or the eastern Ukrainian airspace. Even before the downing of the plane, airliners were avoiding the airspace. However, such decisions are often costly and economy. Airliners don't prefer the longer routes. In hindsight, Russia had managed to alienate Ukraine from the rest of the world by launching attacks or supporting attacks through its airspace and deeming it unsafe. For Ukraine, this must have meant a loss in state revenue as airliners usually pay governments to fly into a country's airspace. It also meant that there were uh, very few airliners willing to take passengers to Ukraine. Airliners and carrier planes are not obligated to keep a destination connected to the rest of the world, and Ukraine was made to pay the price by Russia. The world should take note of such tactics used by countries as other countries with aspirations such as Russia's can also take a leaf from its playbook.